Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am making something I found off of TikTok. It's called the Garlic Toast Pizza. Super easy lunch, so if you guys want to know how to make this, please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. Have your kids join you on this because it's super simple to make. You can add whatever your favorite toppings, your ingredients, whatever it is that you want on there personally and make this a super fast, simple, quick lunch to eat. Just follow the directions right on your garlic toast bread box. Make sure you grab your cookie sheet, line it with aluminum foil just so you have one less dish to make or actually to wash later because you know, with quarantine, we are here cooking all the time, every single meal, snacks, whatever it is, and we just want to do less. So this is what we're doing. Now obviously your box always says you don't need to thaw it out, but these are hard as a rock and you guys will see when you guys open your own box. You guys should actually know if you guys are making these all the time. So I went ahead and took apart what I could and the rest of it I had to let it thaw out a little bit because it was really hard to pull apart and there's just no breaking that apart. And if you guys want to know what I'm doing on TikTok, I'm there for fun, laughs, and learning. That's all it is. And if I find something interesting, quick, fast, or anything that's good for moms or anybody else to make, I'm going to share it with you guys if I can, okay? My little one couldn't wait, so I went ahead and let her make her own pizza the way she wanted to. So we started off with the one slice that we, we did get apart from the rest of the loaf. So we're going to start with our pizza sauce. Again, pick your favorite sauce, make your own, whatever it is that you guys want to do. Go ahead and just swirl it all around on top. And then grab your cheese and whatever other toppings it is that you want to, do, to put on top. Mine just wanted cheese. We're just doing cheese for the first batch right here that I'm going to share with you. Now this is one of those meals that's really great for you guys to get your kids in the kitchen to keep them busy at the same time to have them something to do as well because we still have a few weeks left before school starts and we have been with them for months and this just helps them to eat whatever it is that you're making because you guys have all heard the news. Have your kids help in the kitchen and they will eat it too. So have them do it all. It's very simple. No one's going to get hurt doing this. Actually make sure they all have clean hands first and then start. How is it? I really like the texture of it. It's really good. You like it? The garlic toast that does it give it enough flavor? Yeah, it does. It gives us it gives it a pungent flavor that it makes it feel so interesting. Oh, okay. So this is a TikTok win. Oh what? <laughs> What do you think? Is it good to you too? You like Thumbs it? Thumbs up for this. Very, very, very good. Yeah, you did a good job making the pizza. Thank you for helping me today. You're welcome. Another TikTok win! I can't see my thumbs. Yay! Okay, so I thought the toast was too mushy, so I went ahead and redid it again with my husband. So we laid out another box and we're going to follow all the directions except this time I wanted to toast it first to see if it made a difference. So I popped it right back into the toaster, took it back out, and then went ahead and just did the exact same thing over again with the toasted garlic bread. This time, you know, doing the exact same thing with the whole pizza sauce, adding our cheese, and then I had my husband chop up some sausages so that we can have that on top as well to see if it made a difference. We wanted some meat as well, but um, yeah, we tried it out just to see how it would turn out. Again, just add whatever it is that you prefer on top of your personal little garlic toast pizza. And you can see me pointing to all the blank spaces that I needed him to fill up. We 
popped it back in the toaster and then we took it back out and this was the result of it and guess what it turned out more mushy so I don't know I, I guess if you just toast it for the maximum amount of time and then added a few more minutes just to have everything melt right on top it could work out but overall this was a win the kids were happy the family loved it and it worked out very well for us so if you guys like this video please hit that subscribe button like it and share it and until the next meal, thank you again for watching Watch Me Cook.